I'm Big Red, and let's build us a rat ride. Like I said, I got this uh, 52, 52 F100, kind of donated. They were sitting in the field and for somewhere I work for. And he says, if you want it, come get it. So I went and got it. Of course, no title or none of that, but she's pretty far gone to restore anyways. So like I said, <laughs> Get it one hand. <laughs> there ain't much left of it. But the cab's decent. Decent enough for a rat run. And the hood's probably usable. But everything else, I don't know what we're exact plan is yet to, but yeah. So today we're gonna get the axle, put a rear axle under just so we can roll it around. Cause as of right now, oh, we got a dead possum there or something. The axle's missing. Well, the actual shaft is missing out there. So I have a three-quarter ton GM axle I'm going to throw under it just to kind of help roll it around. We're going to take the bed off, pretty much strip her down to probably the cab. And I don't know if I'm going to touch the front end, at least for now. But at least the yeah, ASM, we're going to get to it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean the bed out real quick. I'm next to the burn pile here. It's got some of the old lumber and just chunk from sitting in from years and years out sitting outside but uh yeah let's get started on this so, yeah yeah <laughs> that thing was pretty rotted we just pretty much fell apart when we were trying to take it out there's a piece there piece there piece there i kept the tailgate the tailgate's actually okay shaped so i kept it up it's by the garage and we'll be reusing that but yeah i just wanted to show you that bed's off so now we're gonna clean that up a little bit. Get some of the mud off, the old exhaust. Fun stuff, nasty crap. And then we'll start looking at this axle and how I wanted to get it mounted. So we'll be back. We're kicking along. Cutting the last U bolt to drop that axle out of there. Yeah, she's trucking. Yeah, not too bad of a pickup. Found some old goodies in the bed when I was cleaning it up. All right, uh, got the old axle out. The new axle temporarily in there. Let me swing you around. <laughs> My temporary U-bolts they are pretty tight. Like I said, this is just to make it a roller. I'm gonna mess with the frame and four link it and all that fun stuff. So it's just temporarily just to where I can roll it around the shop and roll it around the yard and all that fun stuff as it comes in and out of the shop as I'm working on it because this will be probably a good few years while I'm working on this because I want to do it right make it look nice got this door open too there's a little jam but got it open so got some cleaning to do there I take this seat out so yeah I'm just up updating you like I said we got the axle in there now I am working on tires I just got some temporary chunk tires that I'm putting on some eight lug wheels. Dun -dun -dun. That one's sitting there. <clears throat> just so we can roll it around. So I'll be back once I get those tires mounted. All right, big red back with you. It's the next day, obviously. Ran out of daylight, so I couldn't show you much last night because video quality would have been trash but as you can see we got it rolling hey took the drums off the front they were stuck obviously said in 20 years you'll get that got a new axle under there it's a three-quarter ton axle 
I got some wheels on there, but yeah, I think I'm going to tackle the front clip, take the hood off, and assess the flathead. This has got the flathead in it, so I'm going to assess that and see if it's going to be salvageable or not. Because it would be kind of cool to, I've never done a flathead, kind of keep it in there, if I can. So we'll see if it's savable. So let me get working on this front clip, and you can watch that. I'll put you on time lapse or something. So yeah. The clip is loose, but that's as far as I want to try to take it by myself without having somebody on each side. I don't want to damage it because somebody might be able to use some of these parts. I, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to do its own grill. And, but I don't 100% know where my going is. I'm trying to still collect ideas up here. But yeah, so as of right now, I got to wait for my oldest daughter or my wife. Somebody see if I can get them to help me. If it's not too heavy for him. So, stay tuned. Right now, I think I'm going to tackle the cab a little bit, clean it out a little bit, and see if I can get some of that bench seat out of there. Because that's just sitting there for now until I get some help. So, yeah. out not too terrible we, we knew we were gonna need to do floors anyways especially right there we have to get some support to the cab mount and stuff so yeah now i'm gonna tackle trying to get this gas tank out without making a mess i don't know if there's anything in it it sounds like there might be a little bit of something in it but yeah let's tackle that and get that thing out of here all right I'll be right back.
box out. Looks like it's just those two bolts are holding it. And the neck. If it'll come out of there. The next question. Yeah, that's the sending unit. Kind of broke that off. Oops. Hopefully I can put up some field lines. Out there. Yeah, right. I need feel neck. Cheat. Oh, tires. Hey, find no a wire, there's no fuel in it. Got a hole there. I mean, no, there's no wire. Anybody need a fuel tank? 100 bucks. Don't lowball me, I know what I got. All right, front clip is off. Thanks, honey! I mean, freak you too, but clip's off. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think this is where I'm gonna leave this video off. It's gonna get up there in time, so uh, yeah. I think the next video, I'm going to tackle the motor. Get the radiator out of there and blah, 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 but that'll be the next video. I'm probably gonna be taking the windows out because. I don't think there's a single window I can save, so I'm just going to rip them out of there, make the cab lighter when I take the cab off, all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video, and thanks for tuning in and watching this one. But uh, until the next one, we'll catch you later. Thanks. Big Red out.